Well, we've looked at Google's positioning of their ad service. Now let's, now let's look at how it actually works. It has really um, a few different components. And the first component is to sell words from the index to advertisers, to companies who want to be associated with that word. And I think you have all you need to understand that in, in, as, in as detailed and technical a terms as you want. We won't go too technically into it, but you get the basic idea, right? The Google index is billions and billions of words. Well, not billions, but certainly hundreds of thousands to millions of distinct words. And people search for those words. People search for those words. And when they search for those words, they might want to have your advertisement come up when they search for flowers. And now, you know, we got to add the geographic part into here too, right? When they search for flowers and they're in Tucson, Arizona, I would like my flower shop ad to come up. So how much am I willing to pay for that? Well, I think as was sort of hinted at in the video that we saw earlier from Google, it depends. It depends on who else wants those words, right? So it's in Google's interest to start a bidding war and say, who wants to be at the top of the results when someone searches for flowers in Tucson and whoever's going to pay us the most will get to be the top. If you bid the second most, you get to be down there from, you get you down there, uh, down from the first result. So it's sort of a, a stock exchange of index words. So now you can see kind of the value of the Google index. The Google index shows all the words that people can search for, and now Google can sell those words, and in fact sell those words to the highest bidder for, um, uh, for the purpose of placing ads around the page. So that's part one. So those, that works for the Google search pages, but how come Google ads show up on a bunch of other people's pages? 